So uh, we got a new uh, Facebook post here, guys, from Kevin Zabolico, the disgraced planning commissioner on Carlsbad City Council, and the wannabe city councilman who is gonna be failed if he wins. So it's an honor to work for great leaders like Mayor Chris Duncan. And putting together events like these is one of the best parts about my job. Really. You put these events together. Are you joking right now? <laughs> you, do, you do not put these. So what, you put, you baked all these cookies too, I guess? No, you didn't. Someone on Mayor Duncan's uh, team did that, not you. And someone on Mayor on Mayor Duncan's team also put the his event together, not you. And look at this, nobody, nobody wants to be there. Even you. Are you upset that that you know fifteen people showed up to your event? Guess what? Guess what, Kevin Sibilico? Guess how many people showed up at, uh, hmm, oh, that's right. The other Kevin who's gonna win in November next year. Guess how many people showed up to Kevin Shin's first ever Pacific Islander Festival? First ever. More than 15,000 people. And how many people showed up to your failed, I would say, failed campaign kickoff? Oh, that's right. Only 15 people showed up. Nine people stayed. So that means there's only 10 of you in that little picture. I mean, look at this. Looks like nobody wants to be there. Not even you. I mean, look at you. You get that little, like, upset look in your face. Nobody wants to be there. I mean, that guy's on his phone. That guy's crossing his arms. These two ladies are looking off in the distance. This lady's looking at the ground. This guy has got his eyes closed. This guy has an angry look on his face. Filming something else. Not the person who's speaking this guy looks upset that guy's taking a picture of what i don't know probably this guy or taking a weird selfie of himself nobody 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 wants you on city council you are a failed person you're a failed leadership type of individual i mean look at this everybody nobody wants to be there Oh, and same thing. Oh, look here. Look at here. Even uh, Chris Duncan doesn't look like he wants to be there either. Everybody's upset. Because nobody wants to be there. Let's go have a little reminder here. Actually, we can go, uh, actually, it's right here. If we look at here, see how the look on everybody's faces at your pathetic failed of events. Look, all these people really think that you're a great guy. Look at that fake smile on your face. No, that's a scary look right there. That's a scary look right there, Kevin Sabilico, you have. You know, and the people that I know personally in this photo, that I know personally, are these two ladies right here. Nikki Faddick and Stephanie Wells here. And Nikki and Stephanie... 
you guys are if you guys watch my videos let me tell you guys something here real quick do not trust this guy right here Let's see what uh, Mayor Chris Duncan had to say about this. Big thank you to Speaker Robert Rivas for coming to San Clemente. San Clemente, really? Speaking at a packed fundraiser for my campaign. Every day our campaign gets stronger because of the tremendous energy behind us. We will flip AD 74 and get an assembly member who will fight for California's middle class. So this is all in San Clemente. Are you joking right now? Wow. Nobody cares, dude. Nobody cares that you have a driver's license, that you have a car, and that you can drive all over the place. You just do that for attention, dude. Why don't you use your, your driver's license and your car for something useful, something meaningful? Like, actually going back to school. As in going back to elementary school. Because that's where you belong, dude. Just telling you the cold hard truth right now. Because you will lose big time, dude. Next, next November, you will lose. You're going to lose. I really hope that all the people that you're supporting... Lose their positions as well. I hate to say it. Because as far as I'm concerned, the only people that are going to win for the 20 that are uh, up for election in 2024 um, are the people that I support. As far as, you know, what you're running for, which you're going to fail at so hard. Is Kevin Shin. He's going to beat you. That's just the cold hard truth. Kevin Sabellico. Mr. 25 year old kid. Who wants to. You know. Be on city council. Who's obviously doing a failed job. As planning commissioner. I love Teresa Acosta. But that is the only thing that she failed at. Is appointing you. On planning commission. And that's just the cold hard truth. So I'm going to keep on roasting you and I'm going to keep on exposing you for the for the uh uh for the type of person that you really are. That is somebody who continues to go to all these events and all these places just to just to uh you know get a picture or just to be in pictures. Cuz I mean look, nobody cares about Chris Duncan. I'm pretty sure that Chris Duncan told all these people, including you, to be there. And obviously, you're all not happy. Well, you're the only one not happy. Well, you're all not happy about it, obviously. And I'm pretty sure that you told everybody, all those nearly 20 people that showed up. Because here's the thing, Kevin Sabilico. Here's one thing that everybody needs to understand here. You know, so if we look at every single, um, you know, if we look at every single campaign, or not every, I mean, every single campaign, every single, um, I would say, uh, endorsement that he's claiming, Who's the only people that showed up as far as endorsers go? Let, let's take a look at that real quick, and then we'll just make that the next video. But in this video, let's just talk about it real quick. So I can get talked about more than once, obviously. As far as endorsers go, who are the ones that actually showed up on October 22nd? Now, let's be for real right now. 
Who did we all see in, the, in those pictures? Catherine Blakespear. Layla Penegitas. Stephanie Wells. And Nikki Fadick. Did we see anybody else? Did we see Scott Peters there? In the picture? No. Do we see Tony Atkins? No. Steve Padilla? No. Chris War, Marty Von Wilpert, Tony Kranz? Nope. Nancy Hardwick? Nope. Any of these other people? Nope. Not a chance. Not a chance. Right? Chris Duncan? Nope. So let me get this straight. Chris Duncan. You show up to his event. But then he doesn't show up to your event. How sad is that? So do you guys see what I'm talking about here? So we have all these people listed as his, you know, endorse endorsements. We got Scott Peters, Tony Atkins, Steve Padilla, Chris Ward, Marty Von Wilpert, Tony Kranz, Catherine Blakespear, uh, Layla Penigita, Stephanie Wells, Nancy Hardwick, Nikki Fadick, uh, Chris Duncan, and so many other people on here. And it's funny because. We're the only people that showed up. So it's funny how, you know, Catherine Blakespear, Layla Penny Guinness, and Nikki Fadick and Stephanie Wells were the only ones who showed up at his event. But uh, Chris Duncan does, doesn't show up, but yet he shows up. To Chris, to, to Chris Duncan's event. Isn't that sad? Isn't that sad and, and super pathetic? Now. You know, it, it, it's, it's super pathetic, guys. Is this somebody you want? District 2, is this somebody that you want? Because this is not who we should... Um, put our trust in to run a district because you know it's it's pathetic so my question to you Kevin Sabilico is you look really upset are you upset did you want to throw a huge tantrum at Chris Duncan's event today because your uh, so-called endorser over here didn't show up to your event. Let's be honest here.